I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, here we are back again with the new system build we have here in the new old stock PVX Cube Pack 2 computer case. This is a uh, Ryzen 5 5600G APU system with 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabyte M.2 PCIe solid state drive. We also have a one terabyte Enterprise class Toshiba hard drive in there. We have an Ace Rock or Ash Rock A520M HDV motherboard. We have this little uh, wireless adapter in there for Wi-Fi. Got an eSATA port on the back there. Got a uh, recapped, resort of, um, refurbished Bastec ATX 312E power supply. And one thing I just want to show you guys and take a moment to admire just how fast this thing gets into Windows from a uh, from a cold start. Here we go. Oh, look here. <laughs> so, hey, I didn't intend for this to happen, but this is just this is just a uh, a repeat of um of what Microsoft was doing with Windows um, 10 back when they were pushing it on Windows 7 and Windows 8 users. So, this computer meets Microsoft's Elite Class for Commerce Windows 11, so now they're, they're going to try to try to push it on here, so I'm going to decline it. <laughs> Not sure. No, actually, I'm very sure about it. I don't want it right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, so we now have our desktop. So, yeah, ain't that crazy? Let's try that. Let's let's try this again. So I'm gonna actually shut it down. Actually, no. This time I'm gonna do a uh, restart so well we can show a uh, hardcore restart. And of course, uh. Open shell menus want to disappear like the ones XP start menu used to do years ago. Okay, so this is going to be a regular startup without fast startup. Still very impressive, um, but yeah, guys, I didn't intend for that Windows 11 nag to be in there, but uh, yeah, so it looks like Microsoft is now um, doing the same thing. They haven't learned the thing, have they? Now I have to wonder if they're gonna start um, automatically installing it on, on some computers like they did with Windows 10 back in the day. So, <laughs> yeah. ain't that crazy? You know, that's crazy. I, was, I want to do a video of this thing starting up, and of course, uh, I have to get nagged to uh, install Windows 11. Um, the truth is, I may put it on here later on, but not right now. I just want to get this thing ready for tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, that's crazy. So, anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the computer channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support, and thanks for watching this video.